What's up everybody? My name is Cap the Everyday Gamer and welcome back to my Let's Build series. Working on playing some uh firing range here. Uh that's not good. You know what? Since I'm just doing a let's build, I'm not gonna worry about it, plus I don't really have any weapons equipped, so screw it. Um, as you may have noticed, um, I have a little bit more done since the last video. Well, all of this I actually did on a live stream one day last week, and I had a, a sub join in and, you know, help me out with it and stuff. And so, you know, I got a little bit done, and man, you know, I can tell you right away, these buildings are going to be so tricky when it comes to getting, you know, everything in the right spot, basically. It's just going to be a nightmare due to the angles and stuff. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and stay right now that I'm going to do my absolute best in this game to get everything lined up the way it should and let's just hope and pray that it does oh and to answer a quick question yes I do know that if you double jump and stuff you can fly but the problem is that I don't like flying in creative mode because watch this so you get flying here you let go of the button and you still keep on coasting see you coast for like an extra six blocks when you're flying around trying to line up blocks and stuff it just it doesn't work that good so what I have instead is, if you notice, the sun's sitting in one spot and it's not actually moving. Well, I use the zombie mod, or some people call it the zombie mod. Um, and basically, all it does is the only mod part of it I actually use. I don't use any of the inventory editors or whatever, but I use the fly mod and the sun mod. So now all I have to do is just hit the old left button, and now I can fly up and down. I want to. I move around, and I stop right where I let go of it. So that's why I don't use the flying version of, or the flying controls in. Uh, creative mode since there's quite a few people that don't want to know. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so this is the approximate area where this little bitty house is. It's right outside of here. And this is where it's going to start getting tricky because from here on, this entire building that's right here, this little two-story building everybody likes to hide in, is two stories tall. And I know it's going to, and it like angles off that way, which when I was playing the game, for some reason, I always thought this was like a straight building here, but no, I am completely wrong. So hold on just a second. Let me uh, fast forward to the video part so I can see where I'm at. Okay. There we go. I just uh, paused the video for a second. Okay. So it's going to be, like I said, it's going to be some weird angled off version of an, a square basically and I'm, I really don't like having to do angles and stuff but I don't really have much of an option since that's the way it's designed in the game here you know what I mean sure you know what I mean so yeah that's obviously not a square the best I'm gonna hope for is kind of a half diamond shape here more like uh, that let's see no that's just a no, well, that's pretty much just a square. That's not going to work. Yeah, what a moron. Uh, now i got to recount because I'm an idiot. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so let's put that there, there, and there. Okay, so this is the corner right here. I need to just put a... Uh, let's see, the floor kind of looks like it's this grayish color, so I'll just put some stone down for now. And it goes off this way like that. And uh, let's see. Whoops, not that. That's just not going to work if I do it that way. And if I do this here, that's uh, obviously that's not completely correct, but it's a little bit closer than it was. Okay, so but it's considered facing this way. Ugh, man, this is. It's going to drive me crazy trying to figure this out. Okay, let me see. Get rid of this one and this one here and uh, that one and that one. And that one. Oh, screw it. Let's just basically start over. Oh, man, this is going to drive me nuts having to do these angles and stuff like this. So anyway, um, thank you guys for all the support on the first video. I'll go ahead and say that now. You know, I very much appreciate all that. Um, the, it did way better than I thought it was going to do as far as you know how a video could actually do vers on this kind of topic here so I'm really happy how well it's working out let's see if I do this one here whoops and then let's see if that's this corner and this one goes here that's uh... let's see it's kind of let me clear that away too anyway like I said I'm, I'm getting distracted here while I'm trying to do some counting and it's throwing my game off here. Let's see, I'll put that there and that there. And then maybe this one here. That's 
about as square as it's going to get, I guess. Let me see. That is a, let me see, 3 by 3 by 3. Okay, well, like I said, it's about as square as it's going to get, considering what I'm having to use to, you know, the angles and stuff here. But let me run over here real quick and see. Okay, so if we're starting off here, got this building kind of sitting in a corner there. And it looks like this wall back here is kind of wood, I guess. Sort of. I don't know. We're just going to have to half a guess it here and see what it looks like when I get done. And then this back side is kind of a metal color. So we'll do a... Like this. And I think uh, that's pretty much the only open side to it. Let me see. Is there a single fence piece... I can put them somewhere. Where's it at? There it is. All right. Well, we don't need brown at the moment. Whoop. Okay. So this goes up, and uh, let's see. It's tall enough to get under for sure. So let's do not that. Let's try. And once again, you know, something else is when I play Minecraft. You know, I don't in every other version. I don't use creative mode at all. So um, when it comes to remembering that, hey, you can fly on this. It's not something I do all the time. So obviously it's not something that I you know openly remember I can do sadly so um, you know I forget sometimes and doing the jump stacking like I was just doing is pretty much been the norm for uh, every little piece that I've been playing this game so um, not really liking that too much but I don't know how many other options I have let's see here if I uh, stack it out in kind of the same diamond shape here I guess, is that is about right? One more? Okay, and then I do this out to here. And uh, let's see, out to here. And I kind of fill it in a little bit and see if I can get it to square off some and not look so retarded looking. Maybe, just maybe I can make it look halfway like a house sort of thing. All right, let me uh, fly up a little high and see here. Oh yeah, that looks real pretty, doesn't it? <laughs> let's see, let's go down a little bit. That obviously needs to go there, but... Where do I have this on here? This is supposed to go on the corner, so if that's supposed to be... That should technically go about right there, right? I need to just make it look exactly like it is down there, and it might look a little better. So anyway, this is going to end up being a really long series, I guess, because it's going to take me forever just to figure out the angles. And, uh, you know, I know that uh, there's some expert builders out there, whatever, but, you know, I'm just kind of I'm just kind of messing around. So, you know, try not to give me too much of a hard time if I do something wrong. You know, I'm just kind of playing here. Let's see, that's not going to look right at all. We'll put this one here, cover that up. This one doesn't need to go there. Yes, it does. It's just these pieces here. Uh, I guess if I have it squared off on the ends and stuff, it should look okay. Maybe. Why am I having so many difficulties with this? The thing is because it's just lined up weird. Uh, see, that's the challenge here. Is that according If I'm doing this the way it looks and stuff where this is the square that way, basically, then these walls need to go right here. But the problem is if I do, then you got this tiny little room that's only four blocks. So I'll put it on the outside of it. And now it throws off the whole ceiling here. I guess I'm just going to have to sacrifice looks, really, and go with this so that it actually covers it. Let me see if that looks kind of right here. I'll put that one there for... Go down! There we go. Okay, so assuming you're playing this game, you know, you're running and you go... <laughs> Breathe real hard to go. Uh, okay. Whoa, don't do that. Yeah, see, stuff like this is just going to be a pain in my backside from the get-go. It's going to be so hard to do this. And See, I'll run back over here real quick and show you what I have done. This first house, it wasn't too bad. I mean, it's pretty much rectangular. It's, you know, it's pretty simple. This is kind of what I got there. And I'm going to adjust the colors of the squares and stuff. But then you get here, and this trailer house... This trailer house, everybody knows this trailer house. A lot of people camp out and hide in this one. It's angled. And I did all the measurements from how far it is from wall to wall and where the corners are and whatnot. And, you know, that's that's about as good as it's probably going to get, unfortunately. You know, it kind of saddens me that it's going to end up looking like this because I don't want it to look like that. But, you know, I don't know what else I can do about it because it's just that's the way it is, you know? 
All right, well, let me see something real quick here. How this wall is three blocks away from that. Okay. So we're going to continue on hypothetically as if everything's kosher. So we'll do one, two, three. Okay, so this should be the corner of the other house here. How far out does it stick out? It's kind of in a straight line if you're looking from here is the corner. So do, 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 do. Dude. No, that's not it. Okay, so if it comes out to right here. Is that about right? Let's see. Hypothet Let me rewind my own video here so I can see this from scratch here. If I can keep on task for a minute, I'll discuss something. I've had quite a few people say, hey, do you have any tips on doing these sort of build things? And um, well, I can give you a couple tips. I'll give you basically the layout and the way I do it. Oh, excuse me, and a burp sneak up from somewhere. Okay, so it does look like the building covers up pretty much all of this from where you're facing here. See, I'm already distracted. Yeah, okay, I think that'll be alright. So, yeah, that doesn't need to go there. It needs to angle off this way, starting right here. Actually, if it started about right there, it'd be better. And it angle off this way. No, no, no. There we go. I'm just trying to get some line of sights and stuff here. See how it looks out. All right, let's try this game without getting distracted. Come on, focus. Here we go. Okay, what I do when I'm getting ready to build a map. First, I decide on the map I'm going to do. And secondly, what I'll do is I'll go in in the actual game and I'll create like just a private match. Play by myself. Um, I don't go up against each other, anybody. And what makes it great about with Black Ops and Modern Warfare 3, if you're doing this, is that it's got theater mode in that you can play a quick match by yourself and then go back and watch it in theater mode and you can fly with the camera. So, you know, you can zoom around, look at all the angles. And that's all I do. I end up with about a 20 minute video of me flying around and I'll sit here and I'll just kind of look at it from all these angles. I'll zoom around and look at it this way. You know, I'll get every possible angle I can, and then when I'm, you know, I'll zoom out and stuff and kind of get an aerial view to see how it lines up, and, you know, that's pretty much just how I do it. And it's raining. That's okay. Not a big deal. Oh, so that's how I get the actual video of it there. And then after I get the video, um... What I do is I will search online, you know, just a Google image just search or whatever for the map that I'm wanting to do. And by the way, I'm just kind of like throwing this out here as a place marker. And then what I do is, you know, there's you'll find tons of versions of these maps, especially with Call of Duty maps. But if you're wanting to do like my buddy Stabby's wanting to do like a Gears of War remake, I don't know if you'll be able to find a really good version of the map online or not. You might be able to. I don't have any idea. So, um, do I have... Nope. Okay. Anyway, um measure out this wall while I'm talking. So anyway, you'll just look around until you find a good quality map, basically. And that's really all it is to it. And after that, you just do the measurements. So let's see, from corner to corner is about 25-ish. It can't be 5, it's closer to 30. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this one needs to go away. And then it's kind of like this little cuts back here by a couple. This is the running down the corridor see this is just going to look all wonky until I get a few things actually created so you can see what I'm actually doing here but you know it is what it is okay and this comes out here we'll probably no longer than, no further than that anyway okay back to the map here let's focus We're, we can do this we can focus Anyway, once you get the actual map and you find one that's got a good quality, and it's got to be a top-down version of the map so that you can see all the walls, basically. And then once you have all the walls, what I do is I open up in Microsoft Paint. I mean, you could use any version of software editing that you actually want. It doesn't matter. I use Paint because it's already installed. And all I do is I select the Line tool so you can draw a straight line. And the reason why I choose the Line tool is because when you are... Um, you just click on like the start of the wall here so when I was measuring this out I just put the little cursor right here on the map and I drew a straight line up until where it met on the wall here and then in the bottom left hand corner it shows you how many pixels the line you just made is you know like this one was 45 pixels from there to here on the map and then with me in Call of Duty um, 
the maps always find and use whatever it turns out that each one of the uh, these blocks equates to right around about five pixels that's just kinda how it works out and every other build I've done anyway so that's what I use I just um let's see, there's a door here and that continues on let's see should I do too wide on the door yeah probably okay so and then that's pretty much it I mean there's really not much to it after that it's just kinda keep on measuring and uh, move on and I do the lines and you know we're good to go let's see so I think that's let me zoom my video back out a little bit so I can see how much further I need to go oh and as far as details somebody's asking before is like are you ever gonna put the cars on because there's a car right here there's a Jeep right there there's a car right over there that you know there's little barrels and stuff here those things I want to do after I get the map done and get it laid out because what sucks is you know, let's say I decide to go ahead and, you know, I, I sit here and I make a little car. Ta-da, it's a car. You know, it's a half A car for sure, but it's kind of defeats its per you know, meets the purpose, not defeats it. Anyway, well, when I get done actually building stuff here, I might end up having to move this wall over or whatever. And it's just the, one of those things that's kind of in the way, basically. So, you know my thoughts are why build something if I'm going to having to move it a lot so that's what I do the barrels and the cars and all the detailing and the roofs of these buildings I'll do all those last so hold on just a second uh, I forgot what I was trying to do oh yeah I need to scratch the video back just a bit just a second okay all right I got it back to where I need to be yeah okay this is an approach a good spot for a door let's see we'll fly here and uh, then I need to go this way here, but I don't think I can. So anyway, um, as I'd mentioned before, you know, I got quite a bit done, like all of that over there, done during the live stream there. And I, you know, I'm very thankful to the one gentleman that showed up to actually watch the live stream there. And I tweeted it out, so there wasn't a whole lot of time for him to be able to respond. So I appreciate that. I really do. And. Uh, you know, um, I'll try my best to remember to post it on Facebook when I'm going to, if I'm going to be live streaming, but it's always kind of a last second decision, so I never can say, by the way, tonight at X o'clock I'm going to be run, you know, I'm going to be live streaming, so do come check it out. It's going to be one of those, hey, I have some free time, wife went to bed early, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get some live streaming done. It's kind of one of those, I just jump in and do it. So, you know, the best bet, honestly, is to follow me on Twitter. Let's see, that side did a... Uh, I don't want to do too high, so three high gap would be good. That way there's plenty of door space there. So I need to go one higher. Okay, here we'll do just a easy way to stack. There we go. Now we got a door frame. Ta-da! Yeah, as, you, as I said, you can tell this is going to be one ugly map when I'm actually done with it here because it's just it's going to be so hard to line everything up. and ugh, I'm, I'm scared how this map's going to turn out. I really am. Every other map I've done so far has been, well, it's been square pretty much, so it hasn't, you know, had anything to it. But this is the room, little run in here, as you can see, it's kind of, kind of come together. And, um... Somebody gave me a tip once, is like, because I was talking about how long it's going to take me to remove this sand and stuff here to remove the whole rest of the map. Somebody said, well, what mile should you use, like, World Edit or MC Edit? And, you know, when I get down to where all I am is replacing the ground, I might do that. But I can't just do, like, a large select all and replace because, you know, right around over here, there's, there's little walking stones and stuff in the gravel. And it kind of fades out into concrete here and there. And so I don't want it to do, you know, just one generic color all the way across because it would look wrong. Know what I mean? Surely you do. Okay, so these, if that's that high, then these have to be this high, at least. Now see, something else is the ceiling can't be any higher than what this doorway is actually going to be, sadly, in the build itself. Uh, let's do, whoopsie. That's one thing I love about creative mode is it's single click destroy. And it's, you know, wall is gone. Makes it so much easier to, you know, we'll get rid of stuff, honestly. So I think if I have, since the doorway is that high, if I make like the roof and stuff come in the same height, we'll just throw this out here temporarily, just to kind of see. Yay, shelter from the rain. 
So if I throw this out here, that's kind of where the platform would be for the other room. You know, this one go off that way where everybody likes to can. Uh, I'm sorry, snipe. <laughs> sorry. Anyway, uh, I think that's going good here. I think I'm going to stop this video here. I'm going to go through and do a lot more measurements. And I'm going to try and record a second video of just some of these angled buildings. And that's something else you do too when you're doing these builds. Is you'll go back and record more than one video just because you'll be looking back in your video and like, man, I just did not get a good enough angle of this building. So, I mean, it, it's always great to have one where you can play the video and have the map side by side like I'm doing right now. I have both of them on my desktop PC and I'm playing on my laptop. So, let's see, real quick before I end it, I'm going to start off as if I spawned in right here. You know, run, 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 run this way. Do like everybody does. Spam grenade that way. Run over here on the corner. This building's going back that way a little bit too, so. Hypothetically, let's say we'll just put that there for now. And, uh, let's see. So you're going to be able to see from the edge of this building down this way. Well, not that way. That's too far. That building on things coming out far enough. Basically, so from here it's going to curve down this way. It's going to go downhill, and you'll be able to see right up around the corner of that. That's the plan. Ah, man, this is making me nervous because I don't know how well it's going to go. You know. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here and get ready to start the next one. Um, I'm only going to do one video at a time on this one. That way, I did two last time, and that way for you guys giving me feedback or suggestions, I'm not two videos behind. So, you know, well, thank you guys so much for all your time and all your support. I hope you're enjoying the series still because I'm still enjoying this, even though it's kind of terrifying me, as I said. But, um, you know, do leave comments. You know, as I said, you don't know, like asking for it, but if you do happen to enjoy the video, I'd very much appreciate it if you'd leave a big old thumbs up for me because it's just, you know, it's just nice. It's nice to see people leaving ratings and comments, and there's that explosive barrel in there. I'll probably replace that with TNT actually. So anyway, you know, um, check out the video description below. You know, that's where I keep my um, information. Well, obviously, to my Twitter account, to my Facebook account, to my Twitch account. So, you know, if you're interested in watching me live stream, then you'll be able to uh, know exactly when I'm going live. I'll tweet it out right before I jump on, and you guys can come have some good times with me. <laughs> Hope that didn't sound too bad. All right, well, this stage is slowly coming together. We're, we're getting, making a little bit of headway here and there. Alrighty, y'all have a good one, and thank you so much for all the support. I will talk to you guys later. And, uh, sorry, let's try that again. I will talk to you later. <laughs>